Hello all you awesome people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to the let's play of Night of Terror. So, we just got into this uh, big apartment here to just save the game, so now we are ready to continue. So let's see. I need to run away. I can't take this anymore. I've been hiding tools to aid me in my escape. The last one was a key. Yeah, the latest one was a key. A hidden place where time stands still. Emily. So... What is up with this music? Stop it. Okay, so the t time, a place where time is still maybe a clock that is not running anymore, I think. That would be my guess. When the darkness takes over this godforsaken house, fire can't save me. As long as it keeps some wood hidden inside the cabinet, I'll always be able to start the fireplace. There's nothing in here. Okay. The bed stinks. You can tell that it's been a while since anybody, uh, since anyone, uh, been in it. The clock isn't working anymore. I wonder since when this room been abandoned. Something clicked when I touched it. Press frame. You acquired mysterious key number two. The words, with, with generational, eh? I can't pronounce that. Recreational room are engraved on it. So that was the key that the first letter talked about. There's nothing in here. Nothing. Oh, a lock. Now that I got some wood, I wonder if it'd be of any use. Okay, so I found the two items that um, she was talking about. No, whoever Emily is. They remind me of the statue in my dream. Creepy. <laughs> The tattoo was has an engraved brave here it says, but no block to push. I guess my uh, primitive dream aren't totally accurate. And I think this may be the other. Okay, I wanted to check that, but okay. There's paper with childish handwriting on the floor. Uh, read doll course. The girl in red has the brown bear tip. The girl in blue has a blue bear too. Pink and purple go along. So their bears, uh, bears play along, alone. But what about the girl in grey? Creepy. Crap, again? Thank good I have my flashlight with me. What the hell? Don't you want to come play with me? Um, you don't want to play with me? You l took my teddy bear, didn't you? I'm going to rip you in two. I can't let you touch me. I kill them all. I kill them all. I kill them all. I kill them all. Game over. I am glad I saved the game just before I went in there. Okay, uh, I don't need to read them. I only know. So we just get the key real fast here and the lock. Okay. Again? Why? Okay. I I think I saved before doing anything in here. So. The glass cabinet, something shining inside. I can't open that. There's blood stain on the bed and it doesn't look too old. I just want to find Arthur and get the hell out of here. Okay, I will not read that piece of paper because that kills me. Um, maybe I need something before I read it, so... That's that's one of the things I sometimes hate about these um, horror RPG games that if you don't have the requirements for what you're doing then you die real often the paper is all torn up wake um, and in if or and uh, I think come in if you want to play don't complain if I'm too 
uh, to the rest is unreadable. I, I have no idea what the last word is. But uh, come in if you want to play. Don't complain if I'm too scary. Question mark. Why aren't you using um, items? Can I use. Uh, like a draw key. Can I not use any of these things? It doesn't look that way. It's not time to be playing the piano. Oh, so that's a piano. A militant, a militant force keeps you from going anywhere else. Okay, so I'm missing something I need here. And I can't see anything in there, so... Let's try the other room. Dining room. Don't forget to wash your hands before coming in. It locked. There must be a key around. Um, I don't think there is. I think the only thing I can. It still irritates me that I can't use the flash. Uh, but I have to admit, having this on only source as to the creepiness. Funny, this can see better when there would. I know it here. I'm pretty sure I have to go this way. But the problem is... Okay, I tried that again. Who came across a book focused on spells and witchcraft. Read Purification Ritual. Purification Ritual. When a human soul has a traumatic death, the instant emotion can leave behind an echo. These echoes will repl uh, repl replicate the person's desire at the last moment. Therefore, the most dangerous of spirits are those who wish to harm others. To rid yourself of any spirit you might encounter, you can either attempt to resolve the inner uh, turmoil they, uh, they face, or you can force the ghoul to be gone forever. Forcing a spirit's disappearance can be a quite, quite difficult. You must first prepare your ritual uh, grounds. Grab some wood and lay it down in the enclosed area, such as a fireplace. Then you must find any remaining objects that were important to the ghoul during its human life. Once you have completed these tasks, you must ignite the wood. Then you must throw the object mentioned earlier into the flames as you tell the spirit to be gone. If you follow those steps correctly, then the echo of this ghoul is so shall forever be gone. However, be warned, do not fail or else you shall feel the consequences of your failure fully. Okay, so I have to find the teddy bear uh, because I have... I don't have any teddy, do I? Ah, no. So... So there must be... I can't go that way. It seems this valve turns on both the fireplace. I don't have wood in the fireplace, so it won't be. It, so it won't burn. I need to fix that. Uh, fireplace. What are you talking about? Okay, I think I'm missing something. Where is the exit there? Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm missing something up here, maybe. Or maybe in here. There's no fireplace in here, so I'm not missing anything there. It still irritates me that you just walk in there. I want to check this. I want to check the stat. I want to check the fucking statue. This reminds me of the statue of my dreams. Okay, nothing else. <laughs> Let's go with something shining inside. But I can't... I can't even sit on the chair because the goods didn't stomp that. 
So there must be something I'm missing somewhere. But I don't know why. Okay, I can't really find anything here, so there must be something. Is there anything over here? I can't get out again, so I'm kind of stuck in here. Nothing, nothing. It also irritates me that I can't just use the flashlight when I'm inside this room here because it's so freaking dark. Items use? Question mark? Can't. So I have to figure out what I'm missing in here. Okay, so there's the ritual books that I just read. They're not time to play the piano, I know that. It seems the world turns on both of five uh, the, both of the fireplaces. I don't have wood in the fireplace, so it don't so it won't burn. Need to fix that yet, yeah, but where the freak is the fireplace you're talking about? I can't go that way. I go up here. I can't seem to find anything that resembles a fireplace. And the piano is in the way for everything else I want to do. There's nothing up here except the well. And the kitchen was some awful limit. Where the fuck do I have to go then? I need a key to get in there. There's nothing over here. Okay, I'm... I have no clue what to do. It still irritates me, why can't I use the flashlight in here? That's because I can't see anything whatsoever in here. I can't even see the piano that's supposed to be this thing. I have no idea what the hell I'm on now. So there's a piano there. There's the well thing there. And here I can't get through. There's nothing there. And here is a wall, so... I'm pretty sure I've been anywhere now. Except the only thing I can do is go up and read that paper again, but last time I did that I kind of died. So I'll just save and try again. Um, because of the doll. Okay, and I have feeling the same thing. Oh, I can actually run away from her. Okay, is she still in there? Okay, a crime mysterious key number one. Okay. Oh. Okay, I didn't know I could actually move when I was in there. Okay, 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 okay. I, I know what to do now. I'll just... Read this really fast. That also helps now I actually have a flashlight. And I can see stuff. Get down here, little girl. The titties doesn't do anything. But with that now I can get out and I have a flashlight so now I can actually see stuff again. What key did I actually require? I just want to save. So with that now I can go in here and see what stuff is. Oh that helped a lot. Okay so... 
Oh, the fireplace is up there. How the hell do I get up there? Okay, I still can't get any way. But now I know where the fireplace is, but I can't get to it. Okay, but I got the key, I think, for this room over here. Yes, for the kitchen. This fireplace still seems functional somehow. Use wood, yes. There's a lot of different papers on the floor. Which will you read? Put the report. Redicated uh, Police Department. Report number, date, okay. Officer Redicated was walking around the forest when he heard what sounded like someone in distress. Upon finding and entering the property in question, it was made clear due to the amount of blood that there had been a violent disrupt. After further research of the building, Officer uh, Redicated found a Redicated why, a year old girl that had been Redicated. Uh, <laughs> what happened to her? By his side, uh, by his side, a middle-aged man hanging from the ceiling. After the DNA testing of the man turned out to be, he, uh, after the DNA test, the man turned out to be. He left a suicide letter. It's something missing. Turned out to be, what? There's something missing there. He left a suicide letter where he confesses to his actions. After this case, officers Redicated turned in his resignation letter. Dear God. Okay. Mm SA. I behave, I behave, I behave, I behave, I behave, I behave. Okay, you behave. Please let me out. Please, Emily. This is messed up. I feel bad for Emily. Uh, confession. I don't understand. I don't remember being in control of myself. And now my daughter lay here next to me. And she... Oh god. I, I cannot go on. For forgive me, Emily. What does he mean with... He didn't remember being in control of himself. I can't believe I used to play with Arthur around these woods. Uh, was there anything else? Oh god. Um... Ah! Okay, let's see. Uh, okay, I read all of them. A great bear. Will you take it? Yes. That's mine. Um. Okay. No, 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 no. Why <laughs> did I start reading the papers? That was stupid. Okay, let's jump in again. Okay. Um. I can't remember. Oh, right, I did get the key. Okay, we try that again. Uh, I don't want to read all the papers because I already have. So now I can't. Let's read this one. Read papers, yes. There's a key in the clock and a key in the cabinet. Please don't mock. I'm just an adv advocate. What do you mean, message? None of it makes sense. All the food on the table is rewarded, but this one. F in front of this bear is black and somehow even more disgusting. The grey bear, I'll take it. And then she's angry and I am gone. Bye bye. Can I do anything over here now? Oh right, now I remember. Okay, can I... I think I know what to do. You see the valve turns on both of the fireplaces. You turn the valve. Okay, so with that, I should be able to go in here. Hopefully, she's a strong flame burns. Throw the great uh, the great teddy bear into the flames. Yes. I'm sorry that you must face pain again, even after death. Forgive me, Emily. You throw the bear into the fire.
No, no, Teddy, no! Go away. Disappear. Get away from here. You're a murderer, just like my father. Murder, I don't even remember. Well, that went well. I hope you find peace. What was that part noise? So maybe that was something over the other side. Oh, I can actually... No, I guess it's not get down there. Okay, let's see if I can figure out what that noise was. Something up here, maybe? Nope. Something over here? The guilt within you doesn't allow you to proceed. Perhaps it's... it's Perhaps, if you pay homage to Emily, your conscience will be cleared. Yeah, I can't do anything there. Pray for Emily. Okay, now I can proceed. What the hell? As your path comes to an end, you must make your final choice. Will you choose to go left, where nothing is right? Or will you choose to go right, where nothing is left? Okay. Will choose to go left, where nothing is right? Or will choose to go right, where nothing is left? Uh, I, I, I take that. Are you sure which to take this path? So this is your choice, to go live when nothing is right, when nothing is true. Do you truly choose not to face yourself? Very well then, you leave me no other choice. What? Okay, on a moment, I will be back in just a second. I think I can do this really fast. As a there we go, then I go over and turn on the fire. Okay, then I take the other door next time. Uh, this way around. Yeah, no, I can't go that way. Because then I can, then I don't have to run back and forth so much. Then I can take this one. Yeah, I know it's yours. Sadly, I have to burn it and... Pressing the buttons will pass. <laughs> You're not that scary the second time around, girl. Thank you. The most scary thing has still been the alarm clock in the beginning of the game. <laughs> okay. So now we try to play the piano. And then we take the other door. Huh? My flashlight isn't working. I think the battery's died. Well, I will just save here. So, but I will end this episode here because it's gone on a little longer than I expected because I died so much. So, I hope you enjoyed this episode. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, or write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more videos, and I hope you all will have an awesome day. So, until next time, farewell.